goblins, hobgoblins. Yeah. And oh. sort of ambushed in a cave, but not quite, and they lured us, lured us into a trap. We knew it was a trap barricade. And then we were going to go follow some, I think, kind of yeah. cut it yep, off there. A couple, a couple yeah. ran off down this tunnel in this direction. We can't see ah, anything. Okay, ah. Uh, Sorry. When oh, you say wait, this no, tunnel in this direction, ah, yes. what do you actually mean? Because I can't see on my screen. Do you want to give so um, what? Do you want to give Wheeljack to someone to control? Uh, no, no, I'll just control him. That's fine. Oh, so, into the water. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. He's gonna wait until somebody puts a bridge out for him. Ah, <laughs> um, uh, okay, right, right. Yeah, I think. I... Okay, so. I have an order written down. Uh, I'm just... pretty sure I was lost. Or maybe I was... Oh, it's the matter. We we can go to a new initiative if you're going to pursue. But that's what we were coming down to, was whether people are going to pursue or whether people are going to stop and do some healing and that sort of stuff. So, Well, the Valiant uh -huh. Steeds uh, Legolite is going to heal the gnome. Okay, so you guys are happy to break off from combat. Um, yeah, Wheeljack is happy to break off from combat because he wants a bridge. Uh, okay, so... Um, oops. So, Slab, since yep. you're the closest, are you going to pursue these guys? No, no, I'll, um, I'll hold off. All right. Help and... put that bridge back across. Drac, are you going to pursue? Oh. Um, I, anyone else need healing? Around? That's the use of the healing kit that Selegolite is using against yep. the gnome. Only five hit points back. Yep. Oh, he's almost fully he's a healed. Champion. Um, hey Chris, when you get a chance, tell me how I can drag the screen. Uh, exactly the same way it was you doing your other app today. Oh, actually, no. There's um, a button you need to press on the character sheet. Oh, okay. So um, it's not exactly the same. Is it? Yeah, you can't. It's okay. Um, I just don't know how to do it. That's all. There's um, buttons up in the top right-hand corner of your character sheet. Um, on one of those. I think. I think I know. Uh, okay. Hopefully, you should be getting less crosstalk across this because we're in the opposite end of the room. Um, okay, my go. Um, I am going to heal myself since there's no one else to heal around here at the moment. Good. And little Pete, are you going to take off after these guys? Um... Everybody else seems to have stopped. And current points are my max hit points but well, i don't know like did i get hurt Targeted you didn't me get or not? hurt really didn't get hurt ah uh, sure i'm gonna follow them all right um in which case can i have an initiative just for you Just roll me a d6. Like, what? Roll a d6. That's okay. right, we're using d6 for initiative, aren't we? D6 Wait. or d6. Actually, for you, it's d6 plus Did I just? No, I did Because you, you have a bonus to your initiative. So d6 plus one. So that's a six. Excellent. Um, okay, what? so move the character. Did I even roll? I, didn't, even... I didn't mean to roll it. Don't worry. That's good. What? Oh. You, you rolled a five, which is effectively a six, so... How did I roll? I don't even know how I rolled. Okay, I'm still trying to set things up. I haven't even... Are you... Sh <laughs> uh... <laughs> what is going on? Huh. I did roll. Oh, I rolled 1d6 and got a 5. Yep. Anyway. Yeah, okay. I don't know how I did. Anyway, okay, sorry. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
But you'll go. So act. Take your action. Wait, what am I? I'm following those guys. Uh, where am I? There. I guess I'll stop moving. Can I start seeing any? That's 20 feet. Oh, how far can I move? 25 foot. Uh, can I move into the black? I would be able to stock. Oh, actually. Do I have. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. This is the furthest I can move, I'm pretty sure. Uh, can I see anyone uh, or any? Oh, right. Sorry. It was blocked out. Uh, all right. I will cast a spell. I know. Uh, actually, cost. Uh, Just press the right. Sorry. Uh, is that guy within thirty? Okay. I am going to compel Jewel, the closest guy, because he's within the feet. Uh, well, they have to wisdom saving throw. He's got to make a wisdom save. Did we lose the DM? I don't. Mm, apparently. I heard someone disconnect from the Discord. Uh, He's no longer there. Oh, Aaron. He's gone. Right, I'm the DM now. Ha ha ha. Okay, well, roll for the. <laughs> <laughs> so when you don't know what his wisdom would be. Uh, you, said okay, about a, you said something about a wisdom save, so I don't know, I'll just roll a random d20 and see what happens. And then we'll just, you know, make stuff up as we go along. He rolled a five. Yeah. Oh, that guy's dead. You killed him, his brain exploded. Uh, no, no, he's just compelled to, to yep, fight. He, was, he can't keep running away. He was compelled so much that his brain exploded. Oh, okay, it, cool. It, it, shot violently, I like it shot violently out of his nostrils. You are a good DM. I, I, yeah. I'm happy with this. I don't even... Uh... Does someone want to message him on uh, Facebook? See if he's still, you know, there and his Five. computer yeah, hasn't blown up? Uh, yeah. Are you... No. Because he's dropped out of um, World 20 as well, which tends to suggest it's a, um, a net uh, issue. I thought everyone was just being really quiet while I was packing. I've had this happen when I've been running games, and I've also had it five minutes into games before, and it's, you know, really annoying. In fact, I've got videos where I've been running it, and you hear me go, have I just lost the internet? Shit. Just lost the internet, and then you hear me muttering for five minutes whilst I wait for everything to come back up. Well, he hasn't responded to my ha ha ha, you got disconnected message on Facebook yet, so. He hasn't oh. responded to my query oh. about internet issue, issues question mark. So. I need to go get a band aid because this won't stop bleeding. Hang on, I'll be back.
he might, he might be swearing and yeah, cursing. Seriously. How was everyone's long uh, weekend anyway? Everyone had a good weekend? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. It's been weird going out and actually doing things again. Fair enough, yeah. I know it's only small and so I but um, what it means is that you're more likely to get some little infection. I'm usually all for leaving. Most of the time, you don't bother. Oh. Letting them scab over off. No, not yet. No we could run around and have a look at the rest of the map while he's gone. Yeah, you could, but you know, he'll see that you've done it since I've got. I was coming. wondering why he wasn't saying anything. Like now, you can see the people, or the oh, I don't know, something as I was coming around the corner because I assumed that was going to be the point. But then disappeared. Uh, Maybe if someone, one of you guys knows his uh, phone number, you could always give him a call. I don't know his phone number. I think Chris. He doesn't have one. Doesn't he? Yeah. He, no. He uses um, his, well, for want of a better word, wife's phone. He Woman that he lives with and has a house with. He doesn't have a mobile? Nope. So that's why he won't be responding to Facebook posts. If your internet's down, he won't be getting them on a mobile device. Mm. Hey, so when you took that, when you did that thing to his computer, did you do it to possibly be his computer fail? Uh, there's a small possibility that I didn't. No, I fixed the heat sink. Mm. I tested it. Well, I didn't. Put it under load, but idle temperatures were nice and low. Uh, yeah. right. uh, we're gonna try calling Jermaine's phone. His part. Hmm. So how's that local spot? How's that what? I said, how's that local sports team? I support a team that's not local to me. Ah, excellent. And they're going quite well, actually. They're leading the comp. Huh. So I'm happy. That's good, because the team I follow is not leading the comp. Yes, I've been supporting... So I'm talking about rugby league's been supporting them for... The Eels for, what, 40-odd years now? And, oh, you know, wow. you, get, you get used to them disappointing, so you take the small victories. So at the moment, they're leading the comp, and yeah, it's a victory. By the end of the season, they probably won't be anywhere near leading the comp, so yeah, that's when you commiserate and get drunk. Yeah, see, my team's currently losing by 34 points in the game they're playing right now. Ah, that's not good. No. I was kind of disappointed because I thought I'd miss the game, but then I watched the first minute and realised I will not be disappointed in missing watching that game. Mm, but, you know, since you're a Bulldogs fan, then, um, I will not commiserate with you. Since no, that's, Eels that's fair enough. <laughs> My dad was an Eel supporter in the first game of league. I remember watching the Bulldogs beat them, so I've followed them for 30-odd years since then. Fair enough. See, the Roosters and the Eels play next week, so um, the the Roosters are a bogey team for the Eels. Always get them, regardless of where they are both situated on the ladder, So, and they tend to get them with a big score. So you'll probably get your revenge next week when the Roosters roll out the, um, the cricket score on the Eels. That would be nice to say. Unless you're me. True, or my dad. 
Mm. My butcher is a Roosters fan, so he'll be happy. <laughs> he'll be very happy. We gave him a good training run. Mm. I like chickens. Chicken I'm regretting tasty. bringing up sports. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Continue. You. <laughs> chickens are good. Yep. Oh, hey. Huh. Ooh, that... Do we have... Is that an Aaron? It no? is. He's very quiet, though. Yeah. He doesn't have his mic near his ear. Oh, his mouth. He probably does have it near his ear. Hello. That's better. Hello. He rides right. again. Hello. Stupid computer. Good thing you're getting a new one. So I rolled the saving throw for the um, Hobgoblin. He failed so miserably, his uh, brain exploded and shot violently forth from his nostrils. Um, I forgot to say that little Pete needs to make a, um, a dexterity save or be covered in the goo. The, she's just compelling a jewel. Yeah, or and that she compelled it. She compelled it so much that his brain exploded from <laughs> from the fourth of the compulsion. Who'd you target with compelled jewel? The one that's closest to me. Like, so I just came around the corner. Oh, I assume you can see this map. Yep, of me. yep. Uh, came yep, around the corner. And, oh, right. and uh, jewel on that guy. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no problem. Uh, that guy. This guy. Yeah, yep. yep. So he's compelled to. Yeah. So. Either he has to fight me, gets... Oh, well, I mean, all the rules there. All yep. The stuff about it. No problem. Um, cool. Slab, now seeing that somebody has taken off around the corner, what would you like to do? Oh, I guess I'll follow. <laughs> Alright. Do your actions. Uh... If you do target someone, can you target the other one? The Just other one? Target... Yeah, the, other... the one behind him, not the closest one because the closest one is compelled to duel with me and you'll break the spell if you attack him. Ah, fair enough then. Um, I guess I can firebolt the one behind. So, that one. That okay. guy should still be yep. within 30 feet. Uh, firebolt needs an attack roll. Well, why is it not under my attacks then? Can I ask a question whilst that's happening, Aaron? This yes. thing back here, what is that? Uh, that's the bridge. This green thing. Yes. Yeah, it's it's like a bridge. So it's uh, it's two pieces of wood that have some slats nailed on top of it, across it. So can Drakirith Dramak back mead um push that across so you know. Uh, the gnome can waddle across. He'll certainly be able to do yeah, that. It'll be so. funnier if I don't watch you fall into the pit like I did. Well, you but, see, okay. um, so Legolade would probably throw the gnome across, or at the very least try and jump and hold the gnome out of danger, but it would be easier if the gnome wasn't going to be encumbering Legolade. Did we lose, lose Aaron again? No. Hey. I just keep hearing someone just disconnected and rejoined. Yeah, I clicked on the wrong thing and went into the wrong voice channel instead <laughs> of having a look at different text channels. Excellent. Cool. Uh, all right, so you've made an attack roll finally and you got a four. That misses. Oh. As a side note, Ben, your firebolt should be doing 2d10 damage, not 1d10 damage, but since you didn't hit, it's not going to matter. All right, so just feel free to update your fireball to be doing 2d10 damage because you yep. are a fifth level caster or an eighth level, as it were. Uh, all right, that's going to end everybody else's goes as they just sort of meander around, do some healing and stuff. Wheel Jack's like, hey, check that bridge over. That'd be cool. Can't you make a bridge? He can't yet. Uh, and this guy... Yeah, okay. One, two. Five. He's going to come up here and make an attack. Da, 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 da. He also rolls a one. Like a champion. Uh, Alright, that's going to make it Little Pete's go. 
Um, have I not had a go since she ran out there and exploded somebody's brain? Yes, she did. You healed. No. Yes, she did. When you disconnected, little Pete had was had run up there and exploded somebody's brain. Yes, yes, I understand that. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, what I did was, I just did everybody's turn at the same time. I wasn't going in order previously, uh, and then I said anybody who pursued went to the top of the initiative, and uh, anybody who stood around and healed went to the bottom of initiative. That's uh, okay. what I've done. So, Pete's at the front, Slab is behind, Drac is next because he took a heal action, Nomenclature is next because he did something, and then Wheeljack is last because he stood around being like, hey, can I have a bridge? All right, but basically, it was just done by who did what, who acted. All right, so little Pete was the first to act, and will be the first to act again. Um, sorry, I was uh, um AFK before, so the bad guy they just moved down. He didn't actually attack me or anything. He did. He rolled a one. He came oh, down okay. and attacked you with his longsword. Right, but. But managed to stab himself instead. Okay. Um, right. I will um, attack him then. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I just click that it doesn't? Oh. Uh, no, your one will also miss him. Yes. Three ones in a row so far. We're doing good tonight, guys. Um, yeah. You need to you need to put my uh, natural one rule in. Rolling one. People, will be, people will be falling all over the place. Yeah. What about that thing where I get to attack twice? Yep, you can attack again. Okay, I'm doing that. That's two What's ones. That, Did I just roll another? <laughs> no, no. no, that's a three. You oh, still right. miss him with a three. You can, you can hover above it and it'll tell you what. Oh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That well, still misses him, however. He has chainmail and a shield. And, uh, great. Um, that, that, would, that would miss him if he had a loincloth and baby oil. Yeah. Uh, Alright, that's um, Inlet. Is that all you're doing this round, Little Pete? Uh, yeah, I guess. Alright, Slab. Where'd that other guy go? He ran off down the passageway. He continued going in uh, this direction. Well then. Further into the caves. And in fact, if you would like to make a perception check, um, you can hear... Does anybody speak Goblinoid? Uh, I'll tell you in a second. I, I think I, I speak Goblin. Oh, maybe no. I can from back there. Hang on. I'm assuming not. Where would I find what language? Uh, bottom right hand corner of you your. You do speak goblin. It's um, bottom left hand corner. But... Your core page. Yeah. Yeah. Lee does speak goblin. You can um, hear him. You basically just hear intruders. He's like yelling intruders. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the word you pick up on. He may say some other gobble. Uh, anyway, slab. Oh, oh there's no gonna, one there. He's going to walk off past this guy? He's yep. going to attack you. Fear him. Okay. Fear him. Uh, 16. No. no. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then oh, I'm going to double move because there's... I'm like no one of these arrows see. in the darkness. Yep. Come this way. Well, that was exciting. Still oh. nothing. <laughs> Is that as far as you could get? That might be. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, so that's Slab's go. Uh, we'll go to Drax's go. Um, Alright, what does it take for me to shift the... Bridge across. Uh, make me a strength check. Yeah, yeah, just strength. Yep, that's plenty. You you flip that bridge across. That's an action. You've got to move left. 
Okay. Um, um, what's my speed? Uh, 30. Mm -hmm. I'll make that across the fast. Yeah, that's the bridge there. Five. Can I get through this gap? You can. Yep, what's... you can squeeze past a little bit. What's okay. the average weight of a gnome in 5e? Not much. 40 pounds. Something like that. Alright, so this gnome's fat, so he'll be 55. Because he's being carried, I forgot I have to add his weight to um, the Lego lad. Yeah. Uh, is that the end of your turn, Drac? Oh, unless there's something I can do of use with my free action that I haven't thought of, no. You have a bonus I mean, yes. action, but that's fine. You're done. Nomenclature. Alright, I'm adding a fat gnome of 91 pounds to Seligolad, which means that he is still un not encumbered, but that's, you know, important. Alright, so let's, let's walk across. Mm, average is about 40 pounds. Bam! Yeah, well, he's 55 nomenclature. <laughs> The old gnome is chubby. He looks so slim and he's perfect. No, that's because he's, you know, he's a master oh, of perfect. magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, it was taken when he was younger and in his prime. <laughs> that's, that's his best profile. That's his best side. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll go to there. Oh, we can see something. Ha ha. Mm-hmm. Alright, oh, didn't want to snap to corner, I want to snap to centre. Alright, what kind of cover does this chappy here have? Uh, pretty reasonable, like plus two AC. Oh, nah. Let's shoot him with a firebolt. Oh, natural 20 for 22 damage. Alright. <laughs> yep. In his left nostril, out his right earlobe. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he can't survive that. Explodes. And then. He uh, does the old six gun blow across the barrel. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, all right, that's going to make it Wheeljack's go. Whoo! Look at this stuff. Um, okay, so that is a bridge. Mm hmm. Okay, so. It is. 5, so 10, 15. Quite nice bridge. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 30. And I still can't see anything, so. Oh, we'll hang there. Is there anything unuseful to I can do in the interim? Hmm. Not especially. That's fine. I will hang back. I'm going to actually bugger it. I'll double move. And I'm going to go here, and I'll use my bonus action to... I'm going to use bonus action. Move in Vector Rex? Yep, I'll use a, bo a bonus action and, and to uh, to get in Vector Rex to dash, so... I think it probably needs 5. So it goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Uh, that's probably a good place. Actually, that's a really good place for him. Okie dokie. Didn't need a dash, really. Uh, uh, Slab, you can hear, like, some more barking going on. Barking? Yeah, it's sort of a guttural commands. Oh, okay. As opposed to woof woof. As opposed to woof woof, I mean more barked. Hmm. Actually, it's going to go over here. Ah, all right. That's going to make it little Pete's go. All right. I'm going to move it up that way. Sorry, the mouse is... I see any bad guys or anything? Well, I haven't seen you move. 30 is my maximum. Uh, okay. 
What can yeah, I... No, oh, you right. can't see anything yet. You just see slab up ahead of you. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, some... I'll just stop. So if I can move another 30 feet? Yep, that's correct. Is that... I can't see the light reads anymore, so I can't tell. I think that's about 30. Okay. You just move six squares, basically. Okay. If you if you would prefer to think of it as squares, you move six of them. Per uh, maybe it was there, or maybe I went back. I don't know. That seems short, so that's fine. All right. Slab. All right. Let us... Keep moving. Yep. Uh, Let it take gets me to there. Mm -hmm. Into the darkness we shall go. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, that's what I... Sorry. Back on my go, um, it, who's... Sh at, the, at the start of this, I light on someone's shield, but when I did my compelled duel just then, it would have broken that. So somebody's walking around with no light. Well, do we know who good. that is? Yeah, it was slab. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a bummer, buddy, because I'm pretty sure you don't have dark vision. No. Is what, is what this, a, this is going to be sorry. real uncomfortable. Is what a concentration spell? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, no, it isn't. Actually. No. Ah, oh, so it. so casting concentration won't break it. No. Mm. Oh, only, okay. Then, like sorry, they are fine then. It's yeah, only like cast another concentration spell or take yeah. damage. Uh, or... Okay, sorry. And the other time, okay. light disappears. So the what you're thinking about where light disappears is if you cast it a second time. So there can only be one light uh, per okay. person in effect. All uh, right, fine. then your shield is lit up. Which is the same rule that I'm using for summoned creatures. This adventure, as a side note, but uh, yeah. Excellent. Well, well I'm gonna relevant. Keep moving. Okie dokie. That's where the barking's coming from. Yeah. So. All right. Um. <laughs> how are you guys going there? Uh they seem okay. Yeah, they seem okay. Mm. Mm. -hmm. Um, I think the ones you can see seem okay. Let me just have a look at what you can see. Draw a Oh no, one of them's hurt at the back. This guy, he's got some blood. He's got some blood. He got some blood. He being cut up. The other ones look okay. Okay, well, a cantrip's a bonus action, isn't it? Uh, it depends on the cantrip. Acid splash? Nope, that's an action. No, it is too. Well, that's my two actions to get me to there. Sweet. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, that's going to make it... Um, I'm going to call out for some help quick. <laughs> uh, yep, you do have uh, that as an ability. You... You yell out. Uh, how loud are you trying to be? Uh, loud enough so that they can hear me down the end of the corridor. Yep. Perfect. So you're giving it a bit of a rocket. Excellent. Yep. That's great. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, you you guys absolutely hear, uh, hear Slab yell out for help. Um, he hasn't spent a whole lot of time in caves, so he's yelled a little bit louder than probably necessary in a in a cave system ah uh, but you guys right. have you guys have definitely heard him i mean you easily did pete you're like really close to him but everybody down here also heard him as he yells for help from up here somewhere i think he's got it all in Do hand then <laughs> also hear some rock stones this low that's no, cave in that's dragon so, board for i got this right no, no rumbles or anything like that. Just, just a yell for help. Uh, Drac. Okay. Oh, I think that he's dealing with dog. Oh no, he's back. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I am deal with dog. Forty. 
speaking of dog, I threw a cracker at my dog earlier, and it's still sitting next to his face. And I threw it there half an hour ago, and he's a golden retriever, so... <laughs> Uh, you're not a cracker person. Are you done, Drac, with that double move? Uh, he is. He's yeah. just asleep. Cool. Uh, that's going to make it nomenclature's go. Okay, I'm going to cast Dancing Lights. <laughs> oh, let me put those back on the board for you. So I'll need another one because I accidentally deleted one. So I'll need it's four. Okay, I already made it. Cool. Oh, there's some of them are on top of each other now. Oh no, and then I made one big. Uh, alt. Now it's slightly larger than the rest. Swelling. Oh well. Alright. You should be able to move them around. Is that correct? No. I think there's one I can't move, probably. Oh. Well. After you move them all, I'll find out which one you can't move. It'll be the new one. I don't know which one that oh, is. Oh no, I can move it. Okay, good. Alright, that'll do. Perfect. Yep. Alright, so that's going to make it wheel jacks go. Alright. Um, well, these people seem to be bit of, uh, having a bit of Leroy Jenkins moment, so I guess I better catch up to them. So I'm going to double move up to here. Mm -hmm. And I'll get him back to Rex to dash, mm -hmm. and then I'll easily move him up to here comfortably because that gives him 80, 80 foot of movement. Yep, yep. Indeed, I understand. Uh, can you guys see in the dark as a side note? Just one. Um, I've done. I should have dark vision. I cast dark vision last yep. session, so that should Good. still be in thing. Does that we... affect a vector X? Oh, he already has dark vision, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Uh, that makes it there. Go. Um, hmm. They can only see one person, so let's go. Ben, you're all by yourself. It's a dangerous place to be. It is. That It'll guy who just came around the corner that you didn't see before, he's like festooned with uh, some serious armor, and uh, it's, it's quite nice compared to the other guys. Uh, he's got a... Oh, what has he got that's nice? He's got a good looking. Yeah, he's in plate armor. So is that this guy? Yeah, this guy, the red yeah. one. He uh, he's in plate armor. Um, and he just he gives off an aura of uh, danger. Excellent. Yeah, cool. These are uh, these three guys at the back here. However, they're just going to try and shoot arrows at you. Good luck, guys. Which seems pretty unlikely to work, but they don't have anything better to do, so 21's gonna miss it's gonna miss and that's gonna miss alright they did come hit no, cause you're in combat uh, there's people in the way fair enough <laughs> you're, not, you're not that easy to hit where you are this guy on the other hand is going to attack you with a sword and he's going to get a bonus, which still means he misses. Oh, that was a long bow. But whatever. Same attack. Uh, the other guy who's there is also going to attack you and misses. All right. This wounded guy who managed to make it up to you. He looks a little bit more dangerous than the other ones. He's going to attack you. The one in half plate. Uh, he attacks you with a great sword. And... 
just like it. Yes, that will hit you. And that will also hit you. He hit you twice with a greatsword. You think he should miss you, but uh, this guy here, mm. um, he seems to... As the hobgoblin attack, he, he sort of looks at that guy, and uh, you see his reserve, uh, resolve firm up. Um, so he is able to actually land those two attacks. Excellent. That hurt. He must be Indeed. inspired. So take, yes. I don't know why the greatsword is doing piercing damage, but you take five slashing damage and 12 slashing damage. Uh, and then that could guy... could be an stock who <laughs> was firming up those attacks, he has a shield out, so he's just going to attack you with his longsword. Uh, he misses. And ooh, 28's going to hit you for 4 slashing damage. He just, just nicks you. Yep. Uh, however, because you're surrounded by hobgoblins... He's going to do you an extra 14 points of damage as he twists the blade in your side. Ow. He's a sneaky Ow. bastard, isn't he? That's going to sting in the morning. Yep. Yep. All right. That's going to make it a little pink go. Sorry, I could not. Sorry, it's your go, little peep. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, right. Sorry, I can't actually see. What is here? Uh, uh, I want to, as a bonus action, I uh, will turn to Drac. Mm -hmm. Give him some inspiration. Uh, mm -hmm. I am the trouble starter, punk and instigator. I'm the fear addicted, a danger illustrated. I'm a fire starter, twisted fire starter. You're a fire starter, twisted fire starter. Go kill Excellent. them. As long as it's not the Jim <laughs> Simmons version. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and I'm going to move. Oh, that was a bonus action to do that. Mm hmm. Yep. Uh, yeah. So that's a D8 inspiration for you, Chris, in case you didn't mm. know. Oh, sorry, yeah. Mm. Can I see anything? I nope. still haven't seen you move on so, my map, so I'm just going ah, to wait that. There we go. Ah, uh, I have yeah, moved. you should be able to see a bunch of stuff. You should be able to right. see all the way down to here. Can you see yep. that? Well, actually, can I... Because uh, I just kept moving because I couldn't... Uh, yeah, sorry, that was 25, 30, we'll do that. Okay. So, uh, and... Not close. Uh, just kind of... Slashing ring. Um... Don't really ask this. Oh, uh, I, this guy I, looks very dangerous. I'm just gonna say that he's in plate armor. He's got a shield. Looks uh, tough. He looks bigger than the other hobgoblins as well. He's got more scars. I don't really understand my what are my like divine smite things. Divine Smite uh, is just when you merely hit somebody. Ah. Uh, yeah. Or is that just an automatic? It's just a, if you choose to expend spell slots, you deal additional damage in melee. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So a lot of the time, that's what you're going to use your spells for. But sometimes, you'll still cast, like, another spell. Because you oh. do have some other spells, but mostly yeah. you're going to use your spells to hit stuff in melee. Um, you do have, like, Confusion, which which is pretty good, uh, as like other spells, I think. We've got some stuff I have like um, Dissonant Whispers and stuff. 
Yeah. Yeah, I do have I do have a few things, but I don't want to use them. Yeah. Uh, I I guess I can move, but I don't want to move in next to one and then not be able to. I might just stay where I am. <laughs> to... I should okay. around the corner a bit. Maybe no, I, I actually... The pattern is also quite good. Uh, Sorry? All right. Yeah, move, I'm going to move. move to there. All right. I mean, <laughs> actually there because I'll still be... But then when they go, they'll just keep running away. They're, these oh. ones have not run away. There was a guy mm. who was running away. He seems to have gathered up with these guys, and they look like they're taking the fight to you. I, I am going to go. That's. Yep, you just take a second move back to there. Yep. That's fine. All right. Howard Grant saw them went, I'm not going to be able to get close enough to hit them, and then went and hit. <laughs> so. It's uh, Draxco. Uh, okay. I'm going to cast Good. Hunter's I'm Mark. Good. No, oh, no, right. you're right. It was Slab Square. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was right. Hunter's Mark on that guy. Mm hmm. As my bonus action. Alrighty. Uh, and then I'm going to hit him with my axe twice. Because that is what I do. Uh, a 20 is just going to hit him. Hmm. Excellent. Damage. Oof. He grunts. Oh, 24 hits him. He grunts again. Um. <clears throat> she hit him with two battle axe attacks. Do you want to yep. smite him at all with those attacks? Uh, I shall, and I do an extra... I'll do my Hunter's Mark damage onto him on... What? Yeah. The extra one. So the extra three on the first one, and then five on that one. And I'll Divine Smite on the 24. Sure. Maybe. If it lets me click it. Click. Uh, no, it's not letting me click it. There we go. Oh, that's sad. You expend a first level spell to do him five points of damage. Yep. Very well. Mark it off your sheet. We are good. All right. That's uh, Slab's go. That will make it Drax go. Okay. You, um, you beat him up a fair bit. He looks in better condition than you. Yeah. I'm not surprised. I'm hurting. 20... Uh, so which of these guys looks bigger? This guy. He looks bigger. This guy looks a little bit bigger. He's a bit okay. bigger. This guy's a All little right, bigger. Let's try attacking him. This guy? Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, That would be with... This guy's the toughest looking guy you've seen in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got plate. But that must mean he's tough. Uh, uh, my mace I'm using, I think. Mm -hmm. mm. Roll one. Nope. Mm. Yeah, well, everyone else has tonight, so... Mm -hmm. Alright, you only get one attack per round, so that is you. Uh, yeah. That will make it nomenclature's good. Okay. First of all, let's move up a chat to there. And then oops, move. I can move up to 60 feet, these guys. All right, so... Come on. Good, you do a face. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Uh, come on. Give me your sweet, sweet. Come on, where is it? There, right. Look. Okay. 
And then I'm going to keep moving because that's a bonus action to move those. Yep. So that was 30 feet to get to there, and Lego Lad can move another 30, so to that one. Yep. <coughs> Oh, there they all die down there. Right. Yep. Cool. All right. So, how? Right. Yeah, oh, my my allies look nice and healthy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Sure. How does this lightning bolt work? Uh, it's pretty good. I think you should just be able to click on it, and it should bring up what its stats I'm are. I'm just having a look at it right now. Um, it's form line range. Oh, it's from me. It's not like in older editions where I can start have a start point. Oh, no. yeah. It's a straight line from you, unfortunately. Oh, do you guys reckon you could take 8d6 damage? Uh, no. If only they were Dragonborn and had, like, blue or, you know, uh, copper. So, some uh, sort of lighting resistance. <clears throat> I, don't think, I don't think that's what these guys chose. Anybody, anybody got that? Oh, no. It's fire, fire, and acid. Is that yeah. what we chose as our resistance? Ah, that's a shame. It is a shame. Yeah, it's going to hurt a lot. It'll pro it probably make Slab go unconscious. Ah, uh -huh, what a pity. All right, so if that's the case. I can take it. Uh, oh, so I love it. Like it. He says it's, he can take it. This so is was, legit. Was one of these yeah. guys, was one of these guys bronze, looking Darren. tougher? Oh, you're, you're copper. I'm bronze. Is bronze lightning? Yeah. Apparently. Oh, my mistake. I thought copper was lightning. That's right. Was one of these guys looking tougher, was he? Uh, yeah, this guy looks a bit tougher. Uh, this guy... Sorry, this guy looks a bit tougher. This guy looks like the toughest dude you've seen. Alright, let's, he, he let's see how this far. spell works in 5th edition. Oh, that's a... It's a burst. You can't do it on a single person. I better not do that. I've seen that kill characters before. <laughs> so, what we'll do is we'll just do a hold person on him. Oh, you're just going to hold person this guy? Yeah, oh, um... Ramp up the, the I'll ramp it up to a level three as well. That makes it Ooh, nice. tougher, doesn't it? What does level three do? High levels, you can target an additional. Can target All right, I'll target the two guys, the two tough guys then. All right. Casting a level three whole person, so you get both of them. Yep, and I have its DC 15. DC 15. All right, let's see how this warlord goes. The Warlord says, oh, that's actually a 14. It seems like he almost shakes off the effect. Uh, it's almost like the Hobgoblins, um, when they're near each other, become more powerful. Uh, and the other guy... There we go. He... He does shake off the effect. Ooh, good for him. That's this guy. Cool. Oh, well, the first one is held... Yep, oh, the, oh, the oh. Warlord is held, this guy here. Right. Kill him, kill him. Uh, Alright, that makes it uh, Wheeljacks go. Alright, there's some commotion out here, let's see what's going on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, some... Uh, uh, some... Some, uh, what should we call the... So, who was the tough looking one? This guy. This guy. Okay. I mean, this guy's this guy's a little bit tougher looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this right. guy's got uh, a good two inches on everybody else. He's wielding a great sword. This guy's got like a sword and board, but is a fair bit bigger. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm gonna tuck tuck at that guy with heat metal. So, you see, uh, you see, yeah, Will Jack uh, pull out some sort of uh, strange, uh, uh, some sort of strange device, which kind of looks like a somewhere between it, kind of looks like somewhere between a wand and a hand crossbow. And he points it, uh, uh, points it at the big guy, and makes some sort of uh, whirring noise. And then the air heats up, and seems to, all the heat seems to focus on his armor. Excellent. Okay, that's a concentration spell. Mm -hmm. uh, can you link it for me? Yeah, we can actually. Oh, the one time I actually try and click on it, it doesn't do anything. Awesome! Why? Oh, hey. oh, why does it hate me? Are you casting oh, at what level? Two? Yes. I'm casting. That's what I got. I keep getting that. Yeah. Good. 
Right, so you've cast Team Metal. And use my bow. And. <coughs> uh, uh, what are you targeting with it as well, as a side note? His armor. Yep. That's a legit choice. Yep. He can't and... drop that. Yeah. Specifically, his cod piece. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, and Invector Rex will. I'll command him to attack. Uh, yeah, might as well attack this guy, because actually, uh, what's his bonus? He'll attack one of the plebs. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And that's good. He'll attack, and he'll attack at this guy. Okay. Uh, that one. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. So... Is it doing force damage? Yes, I am. By cool, the way, so... those um, dancing lights have gone. Critical for nine points of damage. All right. He uh, he is hurt. Why are the lights gone? Because he cast another concentration, concentration spell. spell. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Is uh, that the critical? I'm not sure that shows a critical. Uh, yeah, that is, because it's got the additional plus three force, which is. Oh, the okay, yep. Right? Oh, it's wrong. Unless okay, he I also just... did D3 force damage. Uh, it's D... D8 force damage. He doesn't do 2D8 when he attacks, does he? No. Yeah, then that's what that is. Uh, oh, sure. Okay, now. You I also need to actually roll the 2d8 damage that you do to the guy. Yep. Which he gets no save against. Ah, oh, lame. I see a 13 there. It's like a d100, isn't it? Uh... I rolled to. No, I just rolled four damage. One stupid. Four damage. I do love that he has disadvantage on everything now. That's legit. Yeah. All right. Uh, that does, however, make it their turn. Uh, he's going to try and make a save to not be held a person anymore, because that'd be awesome. He makes it. He's no longer held, but that's his turn, and he doesn't... He still has disadvantage on everything. That's cool. Uh, Alright. Meanwhile, this guy is going to attack Slab. Harsh. Uh, he gets a 17. That's a miss. The next one's going to attack Slab. Ooh, he gets a 24. That's a hit for 8 points of damage. He also twists his blade because there's somebody there to help him. He does you an extra 7 points of damage, so take 15 in total. Yep. And then this captain tries to finish you off with his greatsword. Let's see how cool. that goes for um, Invector, Rex. <gasps> Invector Rex will use his reaction. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's that do? Uh, disadvantage on that attack. Oh, nice. Disadvantage on this greatsword attack. Which means that it's only an 18, so it misses you. That's a, yeah. good, that's a good move, Al. Uh, and then he's going to attack again with this great sword. Yeah. Oh, he only gets a 14. So, well, actually, that's a 16. But still, he misses. Uh, all right. Then we've got these three archers back here. They're actually going to shoot over the top at Wheeljack, who's a little bit easier to hit. Uh, just because you're not in combat. Mm-hmm. Uh, here they are. That's uh, a 13 miss. Uh huh. That's a critical. Uh, and that is a 19, which just misses you. So we'll do you 8 points of piercing damage from the one. This guy. Okay. Now that's mildly annoying. In, but in, case, in case you'd like to know who your nemesis is. Uh, yeah. You guys also hear uh, like a yell from this direction. Ah! Right. That's a, that's a disconcerting yell. Uh, 
Uh, does it sound like a hobgoblin? It does. Oh, yeah, it does. That's, um, that's impolite. Huh. How the frick did he get further than the other ones? Remember, you get to make another will save for the warlord. Oh, he already did. He passed. Oh, did he? That was his, that was his 19. Sorry, I missed that. Someone should have attacked him when he was out of it. When he had this, when you had advantage on kicking his ass? Yeah, I agree. Mm. There just wasn't a lot of opportunity, unfortunately, because you're at the end of the round. Ooh. But you took up an action for him. He did nothing on his turn, which is nice. Uh, he did get heat meddled, which was pretty good. Although he doesn't get a save against that, so <laughs> could have happened anyway. All right, and you can see here they seem to be led by this guy, even though he's not at the front. I'm just saying that he's like he's driving them, gesturing. You said he's doing the smart thing. Yeah, he's he's also got a great sword and is in like half plate. So he, you know, these guys are pretty obvious who the commanders are. They're not they're not trying to blend in with the rank and file. That's all I'm saying. They're actually have like some gaudy items on them that make it fairly obvious that they're the commanders. Hobgoblins are like that. Uh, all right, that's going to make it. Little Pete's go. Don't get in front of all me. Right. What? Where are you? In front of He's you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, don't like, get in front of yeah. you. Yeah. So nomenclature's like, don't stand in front of me. Ah, uh, because you want to cast a big thing down that way. No. He, That's what I'll I, say. I assume he points in this direction. Yes. I mean, I, I could yeah. be wrong, but Sorry. I'm pretty sure he's saying don't stand My... in between him and these guys. Yeah. Okay. Um... Unless you want oh, to stand my like plan over here was somewhere. to go to here. So you don't. Can you see my arrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can. Uh, all right. So, but I don't have to do that. If so, you're going to cast a spell up that way, and if I'm standing there, then it gets in the way of your spell. Is what's going on? Yeah, no, that's why you said don't Technically, stand. it doesn't get in the way of my spell. The spell just <laughs> continues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technically you just get hit by it. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get hit by a spell, so I might just duck around the corner. Yep. If you have do that by yourself. Okay, um, I'm going to move this way. Uh, <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> can I move into the same space, but not... A sp sorry, can I move into the same space, but not end on a space of a friendly... Yes, absolutely. Person? Okay, right. You can move uh, through so friendly five, characters with no issue. Ten. Actually, no. I can cut the corner. That's ten, isn't it? I can't see around the corner yet. Ah, now I can. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's ten. Hang on. Where can I stand? <laughs> uh, oh, wherever you want. I'll make two. Everyone will make uh, two. Can't stand on a person. I can't stand... Uh, uh, you can stand here, 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 here. Wait, I'm not clicking. Can I stand here? Yeah. Yep, you can stand there. Baba. Yeah, okay, yep. cool. I'll do that and I'll um, attack the guy in front of me. Yep, he all. seems, he's, he's got like a glowing breastplate. He looks mm. in quite a lot of discomfort. But he also looks real tough. So, yeah. You can attack him. Okay. Has anyone hit him yet? Yeah, he looks... Uh, he looks like he's been cut up a little <clears throat> bit. There's certainly a lot of blood flowing off him, but he's not... Um, he, he certainly doesn't look weakened. Apart from the fact that he's, like, partially on fire and smouldering. <laughs> right. Okay. He, he just looks angrier and tougher, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, a 12 does not hit him. He pushes it out of the way with what? his shield. I rolled a 4 now. Oh, well, that's better than a 1 and a 3. I'm going up. Yep. In my... Um, Because I moved, can I still attack twice? Yep, or absolutely. is that just... Attack twice. Oh, okay. Yep. I'll try it again. Mm, no, a 15 will not hit him. Uh, yeah, um, I 
Shuma, that's it. Yep, that My is it. Are up. You have a bonus, but that's yep, that's basically what you can do. All right. Can I cast um, a, um, a my cantrip? So it has to be a bonus. Yeah, you could only cast something that's a bonus. You could use inspiring words, or you could, yeah, something. Oh, has he spent? Uh, has Drax spent his? Drax hasn't. And well, I'm then sure... I can't use inspiring word until so... I can't have more than one going at a time. So... Oh, can't you? Okay. Pretty sure it says you can't have. Oh, fair enough. I didn't know that. Can't... I haven't. I haven't actually got to play a bard or anything. Oh, okay. It'll cancel out the yeah, the other one. one. All right, fair enough. Otherwise, I'd just be doing it to everyone. I'd be like, "Here, yeah. I have information," and throwing it around like confetti. But it's, I mean, you yeah. run out of them; they're limited. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well. Ah, uh, right. Uh, it's, yeah. Okay. No, the can is an action. Um, yep. yep. I'm done. Slab. Um, you're still alive somehow. I am. You've survived uh, around. You don't feel so good. I don't. I'm thinking about touching myself for 30 points of healing. It's not a bad idea. Um, and then attacking with my other action. Uh, you can't attack no. with your other action oh. after touching yourself. You'd end with a you'd end with a move action. I'm sorry. It's a full action. Oh, it's a full action. It's a full yeah. action to abuse yourself. Really, like you've got to really rob. You'll be well so. spent. So, well, I'm it will thinking. Be worth it. Or, or you're just gonna <laughs> beat some guy up and be like, whatever. I'm um, the, the payoff at the end, mate. That's what you got to aim for. <laughs> All right, I'm touching myself. Okay, awesome. <laughs> and you put the full, full amount. Excellent. The full amount. Yep. Love full it. thirty points worth of healing. Beautiful. Laying hands all over myself. Okay, you've got a move and a bonus left. I Chrissy assume Amplet you would be proud. Stand around. Uh, I do. Yep. Uh, Alrighty. Um, no, I'm just trying to work out if divine, I can. It was divinal. Yeah, I'm going to. Uh, divinals. Uh, what? Move to there, and then back to there. As a disengage action. Okay, you can't take an action. You can only oh, move. Oh, as a move. Yeah, sorry. But disengage is an action, not a move action. Yeah. So they will attack you. They you will attack me. Them. That's fine. Okay. Right. <laughs> Very well. First of all, I'm, I'm going to get attacked by them anyway. It's so true. I'm, I'm not disagreeing. Okay, the warlord is going to try and attack you. He has disadvantage. He gets a 1921, which will hit you exactly. <gasps> the perfect attack. He does 10 points of damage. Uh, this guy, this regular hobgoblin attacks you. He misses. The other regular hobgoblin misses. And the captain attacks you with a greatsword. He misses. All right. They've all taken their attacks of opportunity now, so everybody else can ignore them for the rest of the round. Uh, if you would like, unless you think they've got a magical ability to get their reaction back. Uh, that's going to make it Drax go. Okay. Um, there's only two in a direct line from me. Probably not worth using my breath weapon on... So I will cast a spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon? All right. Why does it roll? I think it attacks on the turn it comes out, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it rolled. Oh, okay. All right. Who were you attacking as a side note? Um, Not that I've noticed that you missed. Yeah. Boss man. The boss man? All right. So your spiritual weapon's like here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I can cast higher level. Oh, that's why it asked. 
Oh, well, I did not do that. Uh, and then back to my regular character sheet. It's really lame that my spirit weapon attacks better than I do, but I will... It's powered uh, by your god. Yeah. Uh, how hurt this guy misses. on the side here? Sorry, which guy? That guy. He looks pretty messed up. Alright, let's try hitting him. 14. Uh, 14 misses. Yeah. But you are inspired. Oh, yeah. I will use that. Um, six. Hey, 20. 20. Uh, 20 hits. All right. So I did. Uh, wow, eight damage, really, with Divine Strike. Mmm, because I rolled a one on my damage. <laughs> okay. Oh, you didn't need to roll... Oh, yeah, right. So you do a total of eight damage. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's fine, that kills him. Yay! He was I've been dead. useful! Good job. Have, have you been, though, or was that really, like, Little Pete's? I don't know. It's hard to, <laughs> it's hard to decide who is really responsible for that hit. Uh, all right, well, Little that's... Pete's over here. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Oh, I see what I you mean. The divine, inspired. The inspired. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I get you. Yes, thanks, Little Pete. <laughs> it's, uh, I am uh, the fucking instigator. Yeah, it's uh, Nova well, Coach's go. All right. In my <laughs> best Palpatine impersonation. Uh -huh. Now, young hobgoblins, you will die. <laughs> you know, he's only small, so it's a little bit high pitched and, you know, weak and feeble. But, yep. Know, the, the, the sentiment is there. All right. All right. Let's DC get... 15 deck save or 8d6 damage. A line. I'll roll the damage anyway. Yeah. So like here, I should get all of them. I think. Yep, you can get all of them. Twenty-six damage. Oh jeez. Okay. Wait a second. Let me just roll some saves. Two, three, four. Dexterity five. saves. I can see seven. I don't know if there's any more. They than get seven. a bonus because they're around other hobgoblins. So fear them. That guy got a nine. Next guy gets a twenty-two. So he gets only half damage, which is 13. I'm going to yep. stop rolling since that kills them. <laughs> Why? And then the other guy, who can't inspire himself, unfortunately. I'm all alone. Oh, it's gets a 20. 20. Saves for half damage. He gets a little bit toasty, but he's okay. All right. So then... He's, he's got some steam rising off him. He also looks uh, shocked, dazed, and confused as his cool. squad gets killed. All right, so then Nomenclature will take the torch off Sir Legolad. Mm -hmm. As Sir Legolad bravely steps forward, drawing his shield. So the, the, the illumination is now on the gnome, no longer on Sir Legolad. Right. But... Uh, uh... You don't have to yeah. make a change if you don't want to, really. They're probably going to stay near each other. Yeah, I think And I'll so Legolad, Legolad will ready an action so that if a hobgoblin approaches um, within striking distance, he shall strike. Strike. It. Okay. Very well. Uh, that's going to end out the round for you. Go oh, no. Wheeljack. Wheeljack. Oh. Transform. And roll Alan? out. Alan? He said BRB about oh, no. 10 minutes ago. Uh, oh. I thought he was back. Uh, well, Wheeljack uh, is going to concentrate on his spell. And he's going to deal 2d8 damage to the boss. Bam! Take 11 points of damage. See? Should be very happy. 
Uh, How many casualties? Oh, oh it's back. All I've done is rolled the <laughs> concentration for your burn. So it's your go, but you've used your concentrate. You've used your bonus action to burn the boss. Okay, cool. Uh, that's fine. On the other side, no one's dead yet. That's a pleasant surprise. Hey, there's seven mm -hmm. hobgoblins just died. Or well, give or take. Oh, nice. Plenty mm. of weight, I like it. And this guy's still up. That guy is still up. He looks he he looks like he took some toasty burny damage from the uh from your spell. Sure. And that oh. looks like he's now a little bit, you know, he's over this fight. He's he's not enjoying it. Uh I can deal with that. Um uh, let's see, question is what are my odds of actually hitting him? Mm, reasonable. I just have to roll above average. What could and that guy's dead. So, and these other guys, other guys at the at the front are undamaged. Uh, no, this guy's a little bit hurt. Mhm. Mm but yeah, this guy's undamaged. Okay. Yeah, because I tried all five pass, so I'll talk at the big guy. Mozlet, mm -hmm. uh, Mozlet, some stabby stabby to uh, Hey, with these, with his fireiness. Nope. Indeed, that does not hit him. He has uh, quite good armor. And nope. Yay. Lame. Indeed. Uh, and we'll it, go? We've got something unless else. I can, unless I can substitute a, a bonus action for a move action. I mean, a move action for a bonus action. You cannot, Okay. Well, in that case, I shall hold position. And Vector Rex will simply sit there and take the dodge action. Yeah. If only you could. But you can't. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, which is a confusing thing about 5th edition. Okay. That does make it there go. So this guy's going to walk over here. He's going to come over here. He's going to come over here. Uh, this guy's just going to step here. Step here. Six, and he's going to throw a javelin just at you. Yep, that's right. Uh, actually, would he throw a javelin at you? No, of course he wouldn't. He's going to throw it at the guy who freaking just killed his whole squad. Ah! Oh. And he suddenly has someone inspiring him. What a great time. Flink! Out goes a javelin. 24, that's going to be a hit. Knowing Fletcher, you're going to take seven points of piercing damage. Hooah! Normally, I like to be. Normally, I like someone to buy me a drink first, but you know, that is pretty brutal. It's been taken. Uh, over here, this guy is going to attack uh, Drac, the Warlord. He gets a 17, which is a miss because he has disadvantage. Whoa. And he gets a natural one, which is a miss. Uh, Alright, this guy is also going to attack Drac. That's a great sword. I think that's a 21, which will hit. And it does you 19 points of damage as he twists the blade. Uh, oh, sorry, 16 points of damage. 16, 16 points of damage as he twists the blade. Uh, and then he'll attack you again. I'll use, uh, Invector Rex will use his reaction to impose disadvantage. Disadvantage, yep, very well. He only gets a 17, so he misses. Dang. Uh, this guy is going to attack Invector Rex. Mm -hmm. He misses. Mm -hmm. And the other guy is going to attack Invector Rex. What's Invector Rex's AC? Uh, 15, 15, so that will definitely Ooh. hit. He does hit, and he also will twist the blade. So he does a total of 12 points of damage. Yeah. Oh, actually, what's the dodge action do? I should actually look that up. Uh, you can use your reaction to take half damage, or is that roll with it? That's a lot more like roll. Let me have a quick look. <laughs> okay. Uh, harp and do something. Is this an action, are you saying? This is an action. Oh. Yeah, well, he hasn't taken the dodge action. 
Oh, he def he does by the virtue of not being ordered to do anything else. Ah, so nice. Wait. Sorry, I should have a look this up first. Give me two seconds. I think it just gives me disadvantage, in which case you still get hit. This is tr <laughs> there's a good chance, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll t I'll just take the damage and I'll look it up, uh, and I'll look it up later. Cool. The two archers at the back um, are going to shoot. Yeah, I mean, they're going to shoot at Drac, because he's, like, right in the center and has light on him. So, that's pretty obvious. Uh, it's a miss, and that's a miss. 19. Whew. All right. Uh, they have decided, however, to stick around, because they don't really have an option. So, it's going to be Little Pete's go. Uh, awesome. Uh, first, the... I killed that. Who would like some? Oh, you Anyone? cut out there? You are. Oh, I cut out. Oh, sorry. Uh, I said, firstly, who would like some inspiration? I won't say no. So, Legolas would love some. But, yeah. <laughs> Really? I don't think anyone would complain about being inspired. So Legolad's going to step forward and goad this guy so he only attacks the Legolad and not ah. the squishy little gnome. C can I give it to Sir Legolad? Does that, is that a thing? I yes, think I you have can to inspire be one... Sir Legolad. You can, you, can. you can also inspire in Vector Rex. Now, whether that's a good use of inspiration is really up to you. Sir Legolad's a person. Ooh. He's a real <laughs> living boy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying he isn't. <laughs> I'm just say you, you can might. inspire whoever you like. I think I might. I'll inspire Wheeljack. I mean, as a side note, you could actually inspire this guy just to like rub salt into the wound. Uh -huh. When I kill him. <laughs> okay. I will inspire Wheeljack. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> there nothing. Nothing will keep us together. We can beat them forever and ever. Oh, we can be heroes just for one day. David yeah. Roy, my man. Cool. Anyway, uh, right, so you're inspired, and, and I'm going to try little boss boy in front of me. Yep. The, yeah, yeah. Big nasty. Do press the button, but I don't know if it did anything. 20 will hit him. You do have oh. points of slashing damage. Yay. Do you wish to smite him? Uh, yeah, I think I still have a... Uh, what well, spell slots do I um, First is the best value. Uh, well, then uh, we'll use. Yep. Yeah. Uh, first level spell slot. Cool. Uh, so, what do I do? I, have... I think you can just click on Divine Smite under first level and it should roll the damage for you. We'll ask you for, your, uh, for what level spell you're using. Yeah, but then you just type one. I think cool. it already starts on one even. What? Like on your character sheet, one of your spells should be Divine Smite. Oh, one of my spells. Oh, all right. And so all right. If you click on. It's also it's down yeah. under fight under the under my weapon. That's why I was like, uh, I it. yeah. Why is it not on it from your character? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. It yeah. should say what casting level? all level. You just yep. say one. And then yep. Wow, a one and a two. Wow. Okay. That's rough. But that's, uh, that's pretty uh, rough. Yeah, yeah. That's... Hey, can anyone else see, like, a bunny in the tunnel? Like, the tunnel shape now? Yeah, yeah there is a bit of that. And uh, are you going yeah. to make another attack? Uh, yeah, I guess I will. Um, you really slow back forth 22 oh. you hit him do you want to smite him again uh, I don't have any level 1 spell slots left I mean you can use a higher level spell or you can not smite you don't have to uh, should I be trying to say I only have two spell slots left one level 2 and one level 3 and that's it. And then I cannot cast any more spells. Cast yeah. 
I mean, you should definitely save some. Uh, yeah, I think but they're so very that. good for criticals. But yeah, I'm. I'm not. I won't spend a slot. Just leave it. Yep. All right. He looks uh, pretty beaten up, and is on fire. So you know. Uh, he looks in a lot of pain. That's going to make it slabs go. All right. This guy is going to get hit with an axe. Okie dokie. That's a critical. Bam. And if he's still standing, oh, we're going to hit him with an axe again. Okay. Yep, that kills him. I mean, you could have smote him and then he would have died straight out, but that's okay. Yep, you that I have killed him. Would have lost a spell slot. I know. Just saying. Um, I'm going to come down to there. All right. He's forming a line. Uh, that's going to make it Drax go. Okay. Um, so let's do. Um, can I move this? Uh, does it provide um, uh, flanking? Flanking. Uh, yes. Okay. Cool. I will move it to there. Okay, but it won't provide uh, flanking for you there. No, but yeah. I can't put it anywhere where it will. Indeed. It's very Wait, true. What is that? It's a flaming spiritual sword. Yep. Okay. Um, which is going to attack boss man. Mm -hmm. and Has plus one from flanking. Uh, oh, that's right. I can do from here. Hmm. Fifteen. Nope. All right. Um, and I will attack this guy. Yep. With my the captain. Most. Yep. Ooh. Oh, that hits him. Ten points yeah. of damage. Crunch. He uh he looks at you in anger, which is mm. fine because he was already attacking you. So yeah. Yeah, um, what you gonna do about it? Hopefully, he twists his greatsword in you, but you know he may be <laughs> dead by then. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, it's Doby Clitches go. Okay, so the gnome is going to take the dodge action um, because you know Ooh. that hurt a lot. <laughs> so Legolad of Brickwood will step forward and attack this foul fiend. Ah, oh, what a jerk! Um, class 23 for 10 oh, damage. Sure he's, does hit him. He's trying to goad him as well. Baff. Nice. So, yeah, oops, that's so, pretty good. So goading him will do, uh, let me reduce one of these superiority dice, and it will do an additional D8 damage, I believe. Where's my superiority dice? I bet I didn't write down what they do. I think they're D8 at this level. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are as well. All right. Uh, yeah. I think so, so an extra five damage. Mm -hmm. And he needs to make a um, a wisdom saving throw versus DC 13. Otherwise, if he attacks anyone except for Selegolad in his next turn, he has disadvantage. Nice. He got a four. Right. So attacking anyone except for Selegolad, next turn he has disadvantage. But you know what? Selegolad only gets the one attack, so yeah, worth it. Nice. All right. Um, oh. Yep. Yep. That's pretty legit. Uh, cool. That's going to make it wheeljacks go. All right. Uh, cool. Let's start with here's my bonus action to keep the heat on. Mm -hmm. Let's see that damage. Nice. Average down. I still alive. Hmm. He, how, he does how, not look good. He's like smoking. His flesh is all bubbly. There's all these axe strikes in him. Some of the sword strikes that are in him like have horrible burns around them. He, he looks pretty bad. He's sort of staggering as well. How messed up is this guy fighting with Sir Legolad? Uh, he looks pretty cut up. He has like a serious scorch mark sort of through one leg. 
It doesn't look good. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Lego, I can probably take that uh, for at least one turn. Yeah. All right. the all the bigger all the bigger hobgoblins looked bloodied or, or worse. <laughs> all right. Well, since this guy's somewhat neutralized, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to attack the slightly softer target, the the, the guy with the great sword. Yep. This guy's also got a great sword over here. But yep. Ooh. Ooh. That but guy does already he has, he's already been goaded, to be fair. Yeah, so... Yeah, I think I'll target him. He's probably the uh, slightly more sure. interesting target. Um, do any penalties for firing in melee? Yes, but I'll just yeah. increase his AC. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Oh, that's going to be a miss. A 13's not going to hit him. His half plate's too good for that. Nope. A nine's not going to hit him either. Yay, man! Well, is it doing some fire damage? Turn. Okie dokie. Uh, that makes there go. All right, this guy is Rangry. Rangry, uh, and he's going to attack. Drac with his longsword. Actually, he's going to drop his shield and go two-handed. Let's do this. Rawr. He hits. Ow. Uh, that does you... Hey, Gals, can you help with that? Um, uh, well, probably too late now. No, because either you would have hit... He already has disadvantage. Yeah. You can't oh. disadvantage the disadvantage. So oh, okay. he cannot help, even on his next attack that he's going to make. But he does you 22 points of damage... With oh, that dang. attack, as he twists the blade, as only a warlord can, he uses his martial advantage. <laughs> and then he's going to attack you again. Rawr! But this time he only gets a 16, so he misses. Uh, Alright, this guy over here is going to attack you with his greatsword. Sure. Uh, uh, if, if it works, we'll interdict, interdict that one. Interdict this first attack, so it has yeah. disadvantage. He gets a 16, which is a miss. Would have missed He's going anyway. to yep. attack you again. He only gets a 16. That's a miss. This guy is going to attack... Ooh, he can attack Drac. He's going to attack... Uh, slab, sorry. He's going to attack Slab. Dun, 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 dun. He's got two-handed. Oh, he's going to hit you. And he's going to do you 17 points of damage. Drac, mm -hmm. Sorry. How much? Uh, yeah. It wasn't you. It was, it was, it was me. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then this guy's going to walk up here. Ha ha! And he's going to attack Drac. Fear him. He misses. And. Oh, he can get around. One, two, five. Uh, as he meanders past the line. Drac, you can make an attack of opportunity on this guy if you wish. Drac. Which guy? This guy. He meandered past you. He did? Yep. Sure. Uh, that's... Oh, would I have advantage? You wouldn't have advantage. That doesn't hit him. Uh, and Invector Rex can also make an attack of opportunity on him. If Invector Rex can make attacks of opportunity, which I assume he can. Um, I don't see any re reason why he would. Doesn't say he can't. Yep, then he can. Yeah. All right. Ow. He takes seven points of damage. He's still alive. And he's going to try and attack over here on Slab. Fear him. Ooh, he hits 22. Ow. That's going to do 16 points of damage, which is going to knock you sideways as he... Ah, you just go to zero. I <laughs> just put minus 16 in. Very well. Uh, this guy over here is going to try to take down uh, Legoland, Legoland with his great Legoland. He attacks the male with the version thing. of Legolas. Mm -hmm. He's got armor class 20. He misses. Nice. And then he's going to take the game for eight. Yes. That's what he said, the male version. <laughs> Lego lad. Lego lass. Yep. All right. Yes. Okay. 
Frog. And that's um, that's that's their go. I don't know. That wasn't too bad. They actually feel a little bit invigorated by actually knocking somebody down. It is Little Pete's go. Right. Before we start, can someone tell me how I can erase my bunny? Because I did it and then you I was like... You can select it and then press delete. Yeah, you have to have the select button. Then just oh, okay. I'll select. do that later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, right. Okay, I'm going to attempt to hit the guy in front of me yet again. And you we'll see what happens. You have advantage now, though. Ooh. Uh, Damn it, now I see the bunny. <laughs> well, I did give it some features. Oh, oh the eye's gone. Yeah, I got rid of that. That's okay. okay. Yeah, that's fine. You can get rid of things. Uh, yeah, I roll. You I roll. hit. You do Yay. 16 points of damage. That guy dies. Yay. You, you cut him apart. You get the uh, D6 inspiration, Lee. Nice. You feel, you feel like jobs are good. And... Yay. I'm actually, uh, I'm going to give Wheeljack uh, D6 inspiration for that as well. Which doesn't help you because you already have D8, I think. So, pff, wasted. Uh, <clears throat> uh, can, I attack, does with the D6. can I attack this guy now? You sure can. Second attack. Cool. the guy who is next to him. I'm going to do 17. That's a that's a hit, unfortunately, because he dropped his he dropped his shield as it came in. That was a big <laughs> turns out big mistake because it got him killed. He's dead. <clears throat> cool. Uh, I was like, what's a two AC going to do for you? Save your life. That's what it would have done for you. What else can I do? Uh, that's about it. You can move. Move is good. Mm. Close in. Uh. You could move over here and stand next to Drek, and then next turn you could lay on hands him if he's still alive. Slab. Slab, sorry. Uh, you know, big reptilian thing. Yeah. Uh, you think we are all the same, hey? We all just look alike. Or yep. do I want to try to... Why doesn't not he step all. back so that he's not... Like I can... The gnome can't see above your knees. Everybody looks the same. <laughs> Everybody who's wearing plate does, that's for sure. I'd I'd step back if I could stand. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. He's lying in the ground in an ever growing pool of blood. Uh face down on the floor. It's perfect. Uh alright, that's going to make it uh slabs go. Slab. Save versus death. Um sure. Oh, no, is that a natural 20? Gain one point of healing and stand up. You Good starting. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ha ha. You rally like a boss. Excellent. You can attack. That's a move action. All right, then. Well, I'm attacking this jerk because he's the jerk that nearly put killed you down. Mm, yep. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. He regrets nothing. Oh, he regrets everything because he's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, second attack then? Yep. On that guy. Mm hmm. Oh, jeez. Okay. Five. He was on full health. He's just dead. <laughs> Axe. Bam. Nice. The two captains have survived. This guy is the captain from the first encounter. He's like, oh, I. How am I the last person standing? This is amazing. Unfortunately, everybody else is dead. This is not good. All right. That's going to make it Drax go. Okay. So he's nearly dead, is he? I mean, he looks bloodied. All right. Well, I guess my first not, not thing sure he's will be dead. to... Uh, how far can I move this? I think 30 uh, feet. Maybe move 16. your sword. Yeah. Um, weapon up to 20 feet. Oh, okay, wow. Uh, 5, 10. So we can go to there. Sure. And I attack. Can... Uh, does it have to do that at a particular yes, time? Yes, it does. Oh. Yes, you must okay, move fine. it and attack with it. Then you can get the flanking. That's fine. But uh, yes, you have to do it. Uh, Alright, 16 is not going to hit him. Yeah. Just... 
So you'll go. Um. Who's go is it next? Uh, next person's go is nomenclature. So Lego lads, if that's. Uh yeah sure all right I'll step to the. Get your flanking bonus plus one hit. Ooh yeah. Oh that's right it's just plus one. Yep. It sure is. Uh... Mm -hmm. If you want advantage to hit somebody, uh, you know, you need, like, hold person or fairy fire or something like that. Or you need to ask me nicely. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, 14 does not hit him. Okay. Awesome. And you don't have inspiration anymore. Tragic. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's going to make it nomenclatures go. All right. So... You have Sir Legoland, shall smite him verily. Hey, yeah. Or not. Or mm, Nate doesn't hit him. No. Alright, so Legoland's going to put a firebolt into him. Uh, Armor class. Um, nomenclature is going to do that. Yep. Yes, that hits him. Armor class 11, 21 damage. 11 damage. Nice, nice. He, uh, he burns. And dies. He falls to the ground. He bangs, he bangs. Yeah. <laughs> so he just set his head on fire. He All slumps right. to the ground. Uh, that's going to make a wheeljacks go. There's cool. one guy left. He is the longest surviving cob goblin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if he could only survive. Well, not if we can help it. Um, now let's see. What can I, uh, this is the this is the one annoying thing about Invector Rex is he can't actually help me on on my turn on my current turn. Mm hmm. So he's just going to attack and maybe kill Steel, but I have to. Uh, I shall attack first, and I have. I presume I have flanking with that many people. You don't. You need to be in a flanking position. If you move to here, you would have flanking. Mm. You'd have yeah, to have you're, somebody here you're to flanking get flanking with the wall. Yeah, I could go five. The wall doesn't help. That wall's a mimic, though. <laughs> well, I was. But that would still be the friend. Do five, ten. It's a friend. Fifteen, mimic. twenty-five, thirty. We can move to here. Yep, that would give you flanking. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just plus one or whatever I'm hitting, right? Mm hmm Okay, let's stab at the... Also means that he can't get away anymore. That's a hit. 12 points of damage. He's ooh, still alive. Well, playing against still Sam. Still alive. No. no. He's not in a... He's not 27 a for 10 points of damage. He dies. Yeah. The second attack finishes him off. Oh, he lived so long. Uh, all right. He died as he lived. A bag of XP. Combat <laughs> ends. The cave is strangely silent now. All right, apart so from <laughs> Lego, gentle Lego 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 Lego. Lego. that Brickwood is going to use a healing kit on the gnome again for 10 points of health, which is, you know... Um, more than he needed so, uh, to heal him back to full. Ow. What? Slab, Ow. do you need me to, like, touch you? Um. <laughs> you should the, probably uh, lay on hands, down. but yeah. I'm not sure what my so, power Hang on, hang on. So Legolad can do this with his healing kit. Oh, okay. So anyone, oh, well, who needs, do that then. anyone needs to be healed, I can do, like, 1d6 plus um, 4. Oh, okay. Yep. Well, I'm going to do some... It's not going to cost a spell. Yeah. Yeah. I've suffered 57 points of damage. Well, you get yeah. five back. <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right. Have, and uh, because, of the, because of the way we're doing this, that's the five. You only need the seven back now. <laughs> <laughs> have, um, well, wait, given what? that I haven't taken any damage and I, d like, okay, I only get lay on hands for rest, but if I don't use it, I don't use it. So I may as well use it if you want it. Anyway, yes. Uh, Sorry. You get 21 healing from Draft. Ah. Um, Thank you. Five, how uh, much you get back or something? No, like that? that's just because I had Divine Strike turned on. All right, so, yep. So <laughs> it did that. Um, but you get extra health. As well. You get an extra two, is it? 
No, uh, it's more than that. It's two plus like, the oh, level. it's also Cell no, level, on. so six. An extra six. Okay. You actually get more hit points back from the healer kill. I didn't realize that. It's one d six plus four plus additional hit points equal to the creature's maximum number of hit dice. So you get your hit dice back as well than the maximum number of hit oh. dice you've got. So eight. So you get an additional eight back as well. So it's one d six plus twelve. I'm doing vert with the healer's uh -huh. kit. Yeah, but the healer's kit can only heal you once every short rest or something like that. How often can the healer's kit heal you? I don't know. I have to read that actually. Is it once only have once every short rest? I think so. I better read that because I've used it twice now on the gnome. Let me check it out. Well, that puts me back up at thirty-six hit points. Equipment, equipment, equipment. Where for art? Our equipment. Actually, you know what I can do? I can just go into the journal here and type healing kit and see what yep. comes up. That's what I've just done. It doesn't come up. It's not in the SRD. I've got it. It is. But it's you have hit. more than... Oh, yeah, that, that's probably true. Uh... You've got the books. I've only got the SRD. Kit has 10 uses and action. Oh. Spend a use of the kit to stabilize creatures. Zero without... Uh, have another 15. Oh, it's the feet that you've got. It's your feet that matters. Yeah, it's the feet. That's right. That's what's, what's doing the feet it. Say? Healer. So it doesn't say it's once every rest. It's as an action, you can spend one use of a healer's kit to tend to a creature and restore 1d6 plus 4 hit points to it. Um, oh, actually, yes, it does. If a creature can't regain hit points from this feat until it finishes a short or long rest. So the gnome is still injured. So... Right, yeah. It's pretty good still. Yeah. 1d6 plus 12 per short rest. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Actually, the gnome will have two hit points more because I didn't give him his hit dice the last time. Very true. So, does anyone want more healing? Uh, want yes, to... please. Right, yep, so... I got that too. Thank you, Chris. Sorry? I got that extra 15 too. Thank yeah. you. Sweet. All right, so, who's getting healer kit? Uh, that would be Drac. 16 from the healer's kit. If anyone can give the gnome seven hit points, that would make him uh, take him up to maximum. At the moment, he's on 11 hit points. Okay. Um, yeah. what have I got? He's small and squishy. Um, yeah, okay, I can do a level one. Otherwise, he'll drink a potion. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, have nine. Oh, but it's actually more. plus three. three. So 12. Right. <laughs> Ooh, lovely, lovely jubbly. He's a very good healer. <laughs> and, also, yeah. don't you get some healing out of that, Chris? Yeah, I've got three years. Well, it's really oh, good it's... to heal me as, as the gnome as well because you get a great sense of satisfaction. You can <laughs> you can instantly almost get him back to full health with really low rolls and first level spells. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. though he was grievously injured. All right. Since I know Al wants to loot this area, oh yeah. Uh, quickly, like I'll just say it is a whole lot of mundane crap. Uh, so you end up with uh, a few hundred gold, 328 gold, um, through various denominations, but I'm not going to worry about it. You have as many longswords as you would like, Alan. Not a thousand, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. can't carry that many. You can make you a like, longsword golem. Like more of them for some reason. There's also like a bunch of shields. There's like 18 shields and 18 longswords here. There's three great swords uh there's heaps of javelins uh 12 javelins that's not that many still 12 javelins uh and there is a scroll that you don't know what it is uh, that's basically all these guys had Um, as you explore these caverns, so you can you can move around to have a look for more stuff if you like. But can that's the gnome have a squeeze at the scroll? By all you, means, you can. Do you have identify? No. Oh. I'm just having a look at it, see if it you know had any erotic um, poetry on it. It, it doesn't. It does oh. seem to be a spell scroll that's written in arcane. Or draconic. This looks to be a arcane scroll written in arcane or draconic. Um, yes, that will <laughs> warn 
be enough to identify it. I really do have a kind of... Yes, I'll have a go. Okay. Oh, that definitely identifies it. All right, so he's just got a scroll of um, message, but it has, like, multiple uses on it. So it Ooh. seems like it can be used a number of times. It's also weird, because cantrips generally don't get made into scrolls. But this one has. I do have identify, but I don't have it memorized. Mm, likewise. Very fair. Oh, hang on, isn't it? Oh, that's right. Is identify a um, ritual spell? It is. Uh, yeah, so you could have spent time just identifying it. That's true. You still have to have it prepared, though. All right, to use so... It as a ritual. Yeah, I should have best moment. I should have prepared it. That's all right. It's all good. Did the wallet have anything interesting on him? Uh, just some gold and nice gear. He has plate armor. There's also two suits of, uh, oh no, three suits of half plate, uh, and otherwise there's just a lot of chainmail. Cool. Do, does anyone who can use said armor need armor? Because I can, you know, I can make it. In. Uh, I can actually enchant it if you want, infuse it. But everybody if... already has their own suit of plate. Can you make it into a g-string bikini for the gnome? But uh, I don't think many people have enchanted plate. Hmm. Well, you should. Uh, 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 okay. Um, who does? Okay. Who doesn't have it? Uh, who doesn't have magic armor at this time? Selegolate only wears normal splint armor. I don't know. I'm pretty uh, sure the only person who has enchanted plate is Chris. Yeah, I've just got regular plate. I've just got regular is plate. Is mine even enchanted? Uh. No. What did you take as your plus one item? I get a plus one item? Chris's armor <laughs> is plus one already because he didn't take a plus one item and obviously he chose plus one plate because he's a cleric. Cool, so I, done. I've made that decision for him. There you go, Chris. You're so lucky your AC just went up one. Mm -hmm. Now it's 21. Cool. That comes more effective with all the dents in there. <laughs> They're speed holes. <laughs> <laughs> Movement increases by 10 feet. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Well, Slabbin, Slabbin, Little Pete, and possibly Legolas, uh, Lego Ladder Brickwood can fight over a, a, a plus one to armor. Or well, possibly something else. So Legolas not going to fight over magical armor, but if someone wants to doff their suit of plate armor, and so Legolad could possibly squeeze into it or, you know, pat it out so that he can fit it more admirably. Well. Then you know they can wear the plus one. He'll wear that because he's only wearing splint armor at the moment. Yeah. Well, I don't think the hobgoblin, is, the hobgoblin warlord is not arguing with that at the moment. Yeah, so everybody else is wearing plate already. So yeah. if, Rick, if if Lego lad would like plate armor, he can upgrade to plate armor. He's just going to sure. have to spend some time refitting it to himself. It's like fifteen minutes, I think, to adjust all the straps if somebody's helping you. Sure. So. <laughs> I'm sure we can lend a hand. I'll lend a hand. I guess you guys start standing around. All right. So we're all doing a Lego Lad makeover session. Well, Invector Rex is standing. Is is standing watch? But yes. Cool. <laughs> and someone's holding up a towel. To, you Does know, anybody want to explore these caves yeah. that you haven't like seen the end of? Or... You don't have to hold up a towel. He's made of Lego. Yeah. He doesn't have anything. <laughs> A little Pete and Slab gonna arm wrestle for the enchanted plate? Uh sure. I wanna look up this way a little. Oh. You're not gonna sure. arm wrestle with uh slab? No, I don't care that much. You don't care that much? Well, All right. well then I guess Slab goes to AC twenty two because he wants to be unstoppable. Yeah, though I think I will have to wait uh I think I'll have to wait until um, into a short rest. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's that's fine, yes. All right. You're just exploring Can these we? caves. Yeah, that's fine. You guys walk around and explore the caves. They're they're silent now. They're actually safe. Everything's dead. Mm -hmm. Um. So, but you can move around. So you can have a look at them. Uh, if anything jumps out at you, you can ask me about it. If you have any questions about stuff, uh, yeah, you can't go down the stairs yet. 
but you must gather the full party before journeying onward. Uh, you get that weird message just telling your slab. Okay. But those are stairs going down. They also go up, but you have to be at the bottom of them. Two-way stairs? Oh, Oi. Who'd have thunk it? It's so advanced. Mm. The technology. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Did you come in from the other side? Uh, that's a really thin tunnel. Where'd you guys, that where'd you're everyone disappear to? You have, you have to really squeeze through this tunnel to get through it. It's a bit uncomfortable. Did you go you south? Matter. I wasn't looking. I was looking at the uh, PDF on my laptop. Did you go east hey. or south? Hey? How did Rex go through the wall? I think he got... I think I, I slowed him. I think he got stuck on something. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> well, I'll just put him back. Thank you. Did you guys go south or east? Uh, uh, south. Right. Yeah, we went south, but... <laughs> Head down yeah. the loop. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. All good. Oh, yeah. Uh, before anything else happens... Um, I pull out. Uh, I'll pull out what looks like some, what looks to be some sort of um, metallic hammer roll and hit uh, and fit it to uh, to Rex, okay. and that will give him. him. Duk, 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 duk. Yep. Yep. You can just put him on full. There's plenty of time. Cool. It's like fifteen yeah. minutes. So feel free to heal your minion, as mm. that is what you can do. Okay. Well, did anybody have any questions about these caves? I haven't finished exploring. What kind of rock are they made out of? Uh, I don't know. Are you a geologist? How many stalagmites? I'm not going to go into what type of rock they are. It, it seems to be different types of rock. Sorry, so there's stairs where our uh, lab is set in front of. Uh, are those the stairs you're talking about before? Sorry, I, I couldn't see. Yeah, there's stairs yeah. here. So those to the stairs. Okay. Yep. Right. Yep. Going down. Were, were there any questions that weren't what type of rock it is? It's just. I'm still looking. Hang on. Jeez, you're it's, on it's more dirt than rock, to be fair. There is rock, of course, but. I was when I was in just, France a couple these are of just like, earth caves. 10 years or so ago. There was a stupid idiot, an old fat Australian oh, we guy, came who up asked the tour the guide what the temperature of the water was like. More pointless questions. I don't think he'd ever stepped foot in the water in his life. Okay. Uh, All right, there it does to me. Anything of interest? Well, anything, uh, anything of interest as far as the map is concerned. Indeed. So, I'm ready to just send down the stairs. Well, what's of interest is that Aaron keeps asking us to like look for things, <laughs> which makes me think that there's something going on with the games, but I can't work it out. Okay, good. What? That's fine. No one else think it's okay. Right. Well, I could make a random investigation check, but there's nothing of interest to actually uh, investigate that I can uh, see, which seems kind of like yeah. a bit dodgy. Uh. So, do you have any questions for me, Al? Sure. Is there any uh? Um. Does the uh, uh, does the composition of the rock? <laughs> anywhere look unusual no there you don't you you're gonna spend ages searching for secret passages with your lack of rogue oh hell no oh wait do you you have trap finding or st and stuff like that uh you? i can not exactly no okay well then no uh, also yeah. no you don't discover it you guys do walk around you can like trail a hand along the wall the entire way it's just, you know, highly compacted at Earth, yet there are rocks amongst it, you know, a, an well, assortment of shale and stuff, mostly just condensed rock-type stuff. It's not really heavy granite or anything here. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. There's rocks. Does, can okay. I do a nature check of the caves? Mm, mm. Yes, yes, you can make a nature check, absolutely. Ignore uh, me. That was com <laughs> Navigate, Navigate this You know where you are. You know where the entrance is. Uh, for <laughs> nature, you are pretty sure that part of this has been dug out, and certainly these stairs are not natural. Oh, that's really? The, the that's, stairs... that's what you get. 
the cave. That's what you get from nature. You're like this. These right. these Ooh. tunnels don't seem to have been created by, uh, like, there's no water, so they don't oh. seem to be eroded. Uh, there there doesn't seem to have been like they haven't subsided. It's kind of, it's very flat. Okay, so it's like it hasn't uh, just been like a weak area of earth that's sort of crumbled in or anything like that. The the rocks all sort of consistent around here. There's not sort of loose uh, grit on the floor. So yeah, these don't seem like natural caves. Hmm. And there's okay. no there's no like unholy wind blowing through that could possibly erode it through wind either. So yeah, that's nice. nice. I pick up a, a rock between one and five, uh, one and five pounds in weight. That that's me. That's it. All right, cool. You've got a rock. Yep. You can add it to your rock collection of places you've been. I will. I'm going to pick up a rock and hurl it downstairs. Mm. All right. How far down can we, can we hear it go? Well, I can tell we're going the subtle route. Uh, you hear it go about twenty feet. You can actually, oh, sorry, ten feet. You can actually see that, like, as these stairs go down, this sort of forms into a little bit of a landing and the stairs kick around to the side. So the stairs go down and then to... Oh, you couldn't see my ping then. The stairs actually, this... As it goes down, this becomes the direction of the stairs. They turn to the left. Can you see my ping there? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so the but no one wants to create the, the disco lights. I, I'm sorry, people. I didn't think about stealth. That's right. The gnome, well, the gnome's about to do it. Even. It was more of a. I was just like, well, how do we know that there's just not stairs to nothing? And That's right. Stairs to death. The gnome is doing disco lights down the stairs anyway. Okay. Can Whoops. you control them when they're out of sight? No, do we start going. hearing drums, Aaron? I'm going to do them down to where. I here can come see. the drums. Here come the drums. Okay. Yeah, that's just down to this landing. You can see that the the stairs go around the side. And if anything comes rushing up, we can just grease the stairs. Hmm. That's the plan. All right. Oh, and then I can lightning it. Sure. Do you guys? That'll make all the chips scream. So again, I said, did you want to do anything else on this floor? Do you want to venture forth? Hmm. Um, we are going to move full without resting. Can we rest? Yes, transformer. So, is that a short rest or a long rest? If we want to uh -huh. rest, do we want to move away from the stairs? Yeah. Maybe back to, you know, the entrance to this place, so we have a line of egress. So, no, I don't know, know, maybe keeping an eye on the stairs, since we're, I assume we're going to have watches anyway, wouldn't be a bad idea. And we only need to keep an eye on this way and the stairs. And Unless they're secret. This way. Yeah, what's the chances of somebody coming up that way? We've we have... checked through there. There's nobody there. Sure. I'm 100% certain. So or we just come into this section down here, and then we only have to look out one way. And we don't have an yeah. escape route. Unless there's you know, a secret door, you think. We don't there. need an escape route. Mm. Escape route is uh, charging ahead through everyone. Uh, that's that's my escape route. After you die, I sneak away. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, well, you throw the uh, gnome as a diversion. and. Uh, I think he's the run. other person with invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. might not be down for this I don't need him visible. Uh, all right. So, what are you guys doing? Just, just tell me what your decision you come to. Move your characters where you want them to be. It sounds like we're doing a long rest. <laughs> uh, a long so, rest. where do you guys want a long rest up? I'm going oh. here. Fine. That sounds a bit like the decision's been made. Right. Well, because otherwise. We're going to stand around. Um, I assume we're going to, like, do watch. So. One or two of us will be on watch to, you know, keep an eye out. 
um, up over entrance stairs and back over that way, or looking out. Uh, different shifts, yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. think Victor Rex can Everyone probably okay take. Yep. I think people with dark vision should be doing that. Sure. Okay. In Invector Rex will take a watch because I'm pretty sure he can do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I will take a watch as long as I can get my whatever the what I need eight hours to get to, for a full rest. Or, sorry, yes, that was more of a question. Eight hours for a full rest. Okay. Yeah. Assuming uh, that I can get eight hours, I don't care if I take first watch or last watch or any. What? Well, yeah. As long as I. Uh, so we're doing a full what? Purple rest. Yep. Who's on third watch? Um. Ah, oh, so Legolad can do that, I guess. Although he doesn't have dark vision, doesn't matter. He'll have a um, light source of some description, I guess. Yeah, he's just got a torch. Mm. Cool. Um, okay, so near the end of his watch, uh, put him, I guess, in the uh, watch position. Da, 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 da. Out here. Hang on, is anybody else on? Like, as we stay, we should. Have, like, I'm happy to. I assume that they're going to be the people that will see to get to fight. For, um, I don't care if it's me. It's just. I will, I will, I have dark vision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. fine. I can absorb. So little Pete is on watch with Sir Legolad, is he? Yep. yep. Cool. Sure. Um, with with Sir Legolad's massive passive perception of 12. Uh, you guys don't need to make a perception check. This person isn't sneaking up on you. So this guy, uh, there's like a... And... A plane of darkness, a line of darkness, cuts through the darkness, even more dark, uh, and it slowly revolves and then turns sort of a deep red color and then comes a flash of bright light and a person steps through this doorway in reality. <coughs> and uh, he's got his hand to the side of his head um, which you know is like a symbol of prayer on this island. Uh, and he says, Ah, adventurers, you have held up on the first floor of the dungeon. Uh, please note that your time trial has been failed for this level. Good day. Aww. And he steps backwards through the door. Link. That is oh, all. Uh, okay. So <coughs> after another hour, you guys are free to wake up again. Unless you guys want to talk to the priest in uh, about anything before he leaves, because he is there for like half a second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? Nope, time to the That's fine. Um, right. Okay. Um, uh, so yes, I use my last infusion. So, uh, slappers, extra AC. Enjoy. I, I forgot there Thank was you. a. Uh, Did you call them limit? slappers or slappers? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. All right. <coughs> I thought the insults had started. It's just okay. uh, beautiful. You want this plus one? You want this plus one plate? Let me give you a bad nickname. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, yes, you guys wake up in the morning. Everybody healed. Good. Put your spell slots back on. Yep. Um, all right. Done. And you can have your dancing lights back again, I guess. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to modify a spell or two. Yep, might sounds take, good. Might take shield over. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Maybe over. Charm person. Okay. Uh, question: Do we people think we have enough? Um, mm -hmm. Healing the party at this time. I went through like less than half my healing. Okay, that's good. I will not. I will not. Uh, not prepare cure wounds then. Yeah, that you guys have like so much healing; it's actually ridiculous, which is awesome. <laughs> cool. Um, I, Jack, uh, yeah. Jack Forlornly puts his corking gun, corking gun away. <laughs> I have lay on hands. Yeah. 
I laid all my hands on all myself, so I had no more hands to lay. But <laughs> you still did it, though, didn't you? It's true, but you had like cure wounds, didn't you? Yeah, uh, like one spell oh. slot left. Yeah. I think I might have clicked on some. Sorry. Uh, okay, so are you guys going to venture forth to yes. the second level of the dungeon? Yes, All right. we will. Well, I'm going to show you the second level of the dungeon, but then we're going to call it there. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So... I'm just going to paste you into the darkness to begin with. They're going to come out here. Put you back, actually. Actually, we'll put, we'll put you on the staircase. Coming down. Back to Rex is holding up the back. Got slab in the front who now has an AC of 22. Which for some reason hasn't updated on character sheets. Because it's written in. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, because you didn't actually assign. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. And Chris has 21. Perfect. All right. So you guys come down the stairs, and most of you can see that there are these two floating, burning skulls behind some port colors. Effects. Did you, did you move us? Yeah. Yes. Have you moved the bookmark? Uh, I'm. Well, damn it. No. There you go. All right. How's that? that actually. Ah, good. there we go. So yes. Nice. Okay. So there are these two uh, floating burning skulls behind a portcullis, so it will be combat. At the should we effect. should we be seeing ourselves twice? Oh. No. Yeah. Oh yeah. Have you appeared tw oh, I must have put you on every map already. Oops. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. I guess I'll leave those versions of you. Right. Boy. Cool. All right. So that's where we're going to leave it. If you want a picture of the flaming skull, is that how I do it? Yeah. There yep. we go. Ah, uh, cool. Like nice. It's a flaming skull. It's green flames. It, it like sure a, it looks is. Like a, looks like a wicked hairdo. It's uh yeah. It's the nice. I wish I was a demi lich. Is what it is. Uh, all right. Um, that is it, guys. We'll cool. pick up in two weeks again if everybody's available. Sweet. Cool. Okay. Cool. Good. Good. Thanks for running that. Great. Yep. Thanks everybody. Well, okay. thanks for yeah. Thanks <laughs> everyone. See ya. See you later. Bye. Bye.